Thank you very much. And thank you for having me here this afternoon. I'm very proud to be uh, on such a, uh, an august panel. Uh, I am very privileged uh, to speak uh, to you today on behalf of Secretary Napolitano, who the President has designated as the President's spokesperson and point person on comprehensive immigration reform. As I'm sure you well know by now, the Secretary is very committed to passing comprehensive immigration reform, and to that end has met with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and a number of other House and Senate leaders. In addition, uh, members of the White House staff and members of the Department of Homeland Security have had dozens of meetings with Congressional staff on moving comprehensive immigration reform forward. Of equal importance, the Secretary and members of her department, including myself, um, have reached out to national and local community stakeholders uh, to move the dialogue on comprehensive immigration reform forward. Uh, we are doing so to elicit the suggestions and ideas of those whom we serve. Immigration reform must comprehensively address our immigration system's problems in a manner that is consistent with our values and our tradition as both a nation of laws and a nation of immigrants. Both the President and the Secretary are devoted as a result deeply to it. We also well understand that accomplishing comprehensive immigration reform is no easy task and it will take the energy and dedication of us all. It must also be a very realistic and practical undertaking. There are 12 million immigrants living in the United States with no legal status, and immigration reform must grapple with that fact, that reality, so that immigrants will register their presence and become fully integrated in the United States by paying taxes, learning English and normalizing their immigration status. Reform must also provide employers with the tools to assure the legal workforce and penalize those employers who violate the laws by hiring illegal workers, which drives down wages for the entire American workforce. The President and the Secretary are committed to changing the enforcement policies of the past administration. I think you will have seen and read much about uh, the very significant change in the workforce enforcement strategy rather than rounding up hundreds of employees and letting employers off the hook. Uh, the Secretary has placed an emphasis on uh, addressing employers who um, take advantage of the most vulnerable of our uh, immigrant workforce. More needs to be done assuredly but uh, hopefully we will understand that when um, we are speaking of change uh, to policies and practices that have been passed and implemented over the course of quite a number of years, change does not happen overnight. I do want to underscore, as I mentioned earlier, that the Secretary, and of course, in keeping with the President's directive, is deeply committed to comprehensive immigration reform and I feel very privileged to be an instrument of that effort. Thank you very much.